Good afternoon, everyone. This is Melissa with the StockSwishShow.com. I thought I'd review in here uh, what we are looking at in terms of the market. I haven't done a market review in a while. Uh, we're looking here at the QQQs. And so here we have the daily chart of the Qs after today's trading. The market got up to the target. 103, 103.25, 103.50 is the next target. And uh, the market looks very, very strong. I know a lot of people in here feel that the market is extended. And I know a lot of people feel the market's going to come in. I know people think still the market's going to crash. I know people still are trying to short this market. And the reason they're really just trying to short this market is because of the fact that they didn't go long it. And every time the market continues to rally, people wish they were long keep saying it's extended and want to short, but it's never setting up that way. I mean, some traders got somewhat of a short in here and this moved down, but it really wasn't that big, actually. The bullish move is the big move. It's been the big move, as you can see in here. There hasn't been any big down moves at all. Teeny weeny little pull-ins are what I call them. The move has been to the upside. And so, you know, it's really one of these things where I think you have to just look at what the price action is doing and make a determination from there. And this price action is bullish. There's nothing that is a strategy that says that something is a top or a bottom. I just reviewed this actually in the last two days of a trends class. So shorting a top or buying a bottom is not a strategy to play or trade. It's not a reason to take a trade. What is a reason to take a trade? A strategy like a gap like a golden gap, uh, like the bullish gaps that have been setting up in the market. So really, we're going to continue higher. I know people think we're going to fall and come in. I, I don't even see like a pull-in happening at all, if you want me to be completely honest with you. So, you know, I think we're going to continue to hold. People are thinking we're going to come in. We're not. It's a very nice chart here to the upside. Once we get over... It's really like 108. Once we get over here, I think we're going to run up to here however long it takes or whatever. We could even get there before the end of the year. I, I think we get up here before the end of the year. I think we get to 110 before the end of the year, actually. What is today? November 13th. I don't know if the Qs are going to get over 120 before the end of the year. That, that, that would be tremendous if that happened. I wouldn't even put it past that happening. I would not even put it past that happening, actually. <laughs> now that I'm seeing this chart here. But really, 108, once we get up over 108, we'd have, we're going to have no problem getting up to 110 and to make a new high in the QQQs over 120. Once we get up over the resistance at 108. really definitely think 110 is possible for the end of the year and 120 is not out of the woods for the end of the year too. I mean we actually could completely 100% make a new high and get up over 120 before the end of this calendar year yet because this rally is happening so aggressively so beautifully setting up so well just really getting to every target so quickly really really nice and the first swing trade letter I did actually which I just came out with on November 1st that was 13 days ago was in the queues it was a good letter it was a good letter. Q's went to the target. So I will continue to do swing trade letters. If anyone wants to sign up, you can email me about that. But the real thing that people learn from me is how to trade gaps and how to read gaps. It's really the reading of the gap that is so vital for people to understand, even for people to do overnight. The way that I read gaps tells me so much about what a chart is going to do. It allows me to predict what the price action is going to be in a stock or the market. That's the reason I'm saying the market's higher. I've been saying that all year I've been right. If I see something bearish in here to turn, I will certainly say so. But it is just not setting up that way. So the reason I'm able to do this, to predict what something is going to do before it does it, is because of the fact that I know how to read price action and what is happening in a chart in a gap. That gap holds such vital information. I, there's nothing on this chart that holds as much information as a gap. There is nothing more powerful in the event or life of a stock than a gap. 
It is the most powerful form of price action that a chart has. There's no moving averages, no indicators, no Fibonacci's, no tops, no bottoms, no nothing. There is nothing more powerful than a gap in the life of a chart or a stock and is the most misunderstood, uh, misconceived, completely incorrectly formulated thing out there that people teach incorrectly that I, that of anything that's ever even taught actually. Most what people are teaching about gaps is wrong except for what I teach which is a system I created and made up myself because I just traded and traded and analyzed so many charts for over three years and did nothing else and now I've been doing this for six and but you know it was the three year period where I put together the 26 point rating system where I figured this stuff out so the market is higher and I know people are getting all excited to short in here market's not a short market's not a short and my call is that not only does the market hold strong in here and not pull in really anything significantly, but the market will run. And I'm seeing that the market's going to run up to some crazy, crazy number. And I said in September, the next four to six months, that is starting to play out right in here, starting to play out now. I'm seeing the possibility the market could get up to 108 or 110 before the end of this calendar year, which is fantastic. Uh, would it be a fantastic move for this market to have made in this calendar year? Really, the market started out the year bearish <clears throat> whenever this yesterday too let me find it here's the first day of the year market was red in the first day of the year started out the year bearish started out the year approximately in the mid 80s came on down retest in here around 83 for the market to make a 20 30 point move in one year like this is is, is astounding but it's not extended. I know we're up 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. We're up 22 days in a row. <laughs> and I know that means people think we're going to pull in, we're going to crash, we're going to do this, we're extended, but it's just not, that's not anything to read. That's not anything to read. The gaps are what you have to read, and that's what you have to know how to do. And you have to know which ones are the good ones, which ones are bullish, and which ones are bearish, and which of the bullish ones are buys, and which are not buys, but maybe shorts, and vice versa. It is so important to understand what gaps are good quality gaps to play into or lay off of and do nothing, or maybe exit your overnight. A lot of people are interested in this swing letter, and if you are, you can sign up for it, but the reality is, you still have to learn how to trade gaps. If you are doing overnights and you don't understand how to rank gaps or what you're doing in the gaps, it is just not a good idea to take overnights. Overnight positions can, a gap can hurt you in an overnight position if you don't understand how to rate gaps. My class is so good because it reads institutional positioning, which helps you for day trading and longer term trading, and actually has a higher profitability percentage win ratio for longer term than intraday. It's very high for intraday, as high as anything I've ever seen as far as getting it right in the right direction on the day. But longer term, it's, it's even better because of the fact it's reading what institutions are doing. And institutions are not in stuff for a day or a second or a minute or an hour. And gaps can have a lot of effect on a chart. They can make a trend or break a trend or continue a trend or change a trend. They're very complex. I have broken it down into a system that is easy to learn because I figured everything out and all the pieces to do it. Figuring it out was not easy, but I figured it out over a long period of time and put it together in a way that makes it easy for people to comprehend. But the market's higher. <laughs> I mean, what can I say? So I'm doing this video here tonight. I'm not going to be doing any more videos tomorrow. We'll see what the market does tomorrow. I'll look at it whenever I get a chance to look at it over the weekend again, and maybe I'll try to do a video over the weekend. I have no idea where we're going to gap tomorrow. No idea at all. I know the shorts are going to try to come in, and I know that the bulls are going to hold it up. And even if the market does pull in to even all the way down to 99 or 98, and I just don't see that setting up that way. But even if it would, we're still going to rally up. We're still going to rally up and continue to go up and continue to make new highs even this month and this before the end of the year. So that's my call here for the market. If anyone's interested in more information about the Golden Gap class, the next class is November 26th and 23rd, not this weekend, but the following weekend. 
If you'd like more information, email me at melissa at thestockswish.com. If you really are sincere and seriously interested in your trading career and really want to learn how to read gaps, there is nothing like the system that I have designed. It is very, very advanced in reference to reading price action. It is the way to go because that's how I get the directional read right so often. And I was talking about this in the room today, and I said, you know what? I am just never, 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 never getting off of my top pick of what I have conviction in because I'm so often right. And this idea of having conviction helps you stay with the trade, helps you make money, helps you stay with what you're learning, what you're knowing. And every day you learn something new. Every day I'm getting better. Every day I'm picking up more pieces of the information that I need to bring into my trading, to trade for myself, to make more money, to find ways to make more profit in something, to see more things more clearly, more specific, including this market. And the market is higher. And it reached the first swing trade target today, and it is continuing higher. So that's the scoop. If you're interested in more information, you can email me at melissa at thestockswish.com. Have a great day, everybody.